Hey guys, I uh, wanted to share my video here with you guys about, um, and this has been done on the internet uh, before, um, so this is kind of my take on it. I want to tell you how I did it. This right here is the glowing coal um, effect uh, for like cauldrons and so forth for Halloween. And I want to show you how I did mine real quick. Um, there's a lot of how-tos, but this is just kind of my take, and I'll give you some of the ways I detailed it and that sort of stuff. But um, what you use, uh, if, you hadn't, if you're not familiar with this technique, you basically use the spray foam, like spray foam insulation, and use LED um, <clears throat> lights. Um, you can use the regular lights. I wouldn't recommend those because they get hot and um, the lifespan is a lot shorter. A lot of people do this where they can uh, fashion it where you can change out the bulbs later and you know the coal uh, effect is separate from the um, um, lights and so forth. I didn't do that and I'm sorry it's daylight so you're not going to get the exact effect of it but I think you can actually, I kind of like showing it in the daylight so you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, it looks great at night. If I get a chance, I'll, I'll try getting you a darker shot. But uh, uh, what I did was this right here is a one of those $12, $13 cauldrons you can buy from um, places like Party City. And what I did was um, I spray painted it uh, black, <clears throat> uh, like a flat black. And then also uh, there's an effect you can use, and there's a video about this. You can use, I use grits. Um, you can use grits or even oatmeal. Some people use oatmeal and um, like Elmer's school glue to give it this real crusty, rusty kind of look, textured look. So it looks much more realistic. And then I just spray painted the thing um, flat black. And uh, once you put the um, uh, grits or the oatmeal on here to kind of give it a texture <clears throat> in some places, um, you would then let that dry really well and then spray paint it with a real nice flat black. Also spray painting the inside here flat black um, just so because it's a pretty shiny black plastic. So uh, what I did was if you look on the bottom of this, that is a piece of chloroplast, like a corrugated uh, cardboard. That happens to be a real estate sign that um, I had on hand. Um, and so I laid the um, real estate sign down. And then I, the way I did this, this is all one piece. So I laid the, um, uh, and I sprayed just a little bit of spray foam. And I put the um, uh, cauldron on. Then I took the lights and I ran them around it in a circle so therefore you're not wasting any light sitting underneath that can't be seen so you want to expose all the lights you can so that way I was able to run it around the outer edge and I wound up using two strings of lights uh, both of them are LED you can uh, plug them in in succession so you can get the length you need uh, you could probably get away with just one uh, but I actually did two and then I went and um, got some uh, sticks out of my yard um, just some basic sticks like this. Now this one right here is not mounted. All these others are fashioned with the uh, foam. So then once I got the lights uh, put on how I want, the reason I put the foam underneath is just to hold this in place. Um, and um, it's kind of like a, using like a glue almost. You could glue it to the, chlor to the uh, uh, piece of plastic if you wanted. Um, once you do that, then you will take and spray the foam around the outer edge. You you know because you're not you're only going to see this from one side. You don't need to waste a lot of foam on the back side of this, um, but you could you know. But you know you spray your foam. And the problem that I saw with some of these, I like being very detailed. And the foam, by the nature of the way it sets up, it's very rounded. Well, unless you're dealing with like lava, you don't see rounded um, coals or whatever. It's usually very uh, jagged or spiky or whatever because it's burnt pieces of wood. It's not like lava where it's round. So what I did was once it's set and then once you put spray it on, while it's still wet, you'll start placing your sticks in. So it'll actually set up and hold your sticks in place. So if you look at a fire, uh, go, you know, a campfire, Google them or whatever, you can kind of look at what they look like. So your, your uh, sticks are going to start turning black because they're getting a uh, char to them. So that'll all happen with spray paint. Um, but what I did was once this set up, I took a pair of pliers and I started pulling at it and picking pieces off to break up that round look. So it looks more uh, like 
you know, like ash. So it's not real round and so forth. So just like I said, just take some pliers and pick it and pull at it and so forth. Then once you do that, um, I let it set up and dry. Then I was, um, I went in and spray painted it flat black all the way around and uh, kind of left like if you look here you can kind of still see some wood so you could leave part of it where it hadn't burnt yet so kind of gives it a very realistic look here then it's best to work with the lights plugged in and the reason is is because i was able to then take a pair of needle nose pliers and start picking out in these crevices to expose more light to expose more of the coal so if you look like down in here you can start seeing this right here was covered up, so you can't see it. And once I picked at it and start pulling it out, now you can see it. Just be very careful when you start picking and pulling that you're not grabbing hold of the wire um, and then breaking the wire. If you break the wire, you're kind of done for. And once this, because in this method, uh, because this is uh, the wires are all set into that inside this foam now. So if you look, you can go around here and, like I said, I just went and picked out uh, spots where and especially around this edge because you want it to look like it's hot underneath right underneath the edge so you just go in and start picking it out with a pair of needle nose or you know some kind of edge like a butter knife blade you can start pushing it out of the way and moving the foam so you can start exposing more of the um, led lights underneath to give it that glowing look and then um, uh, once you do all that i took um, some white and black paint and mixed it to get kind of a whitish gray so some of it's a little whiter than the other if you know dry brush technique you can look up that um, and then I started highlighting because ash is not all black you'll see some where it's white so I went in here with a lot of detail and started just brushing very light with a dry brush technique and started dry brushing to get some white edges and so forth where it looks like the ash is cooled back down uh, and turned white. And, you know, this stick here, I just lay it up here like that so it looks like it's a new stick laid on top of the coals. You could actually, I'd actually uh, could glue that, uh, hot glue it or something on there if I wanted to, and I may do that. I just happened to stick it up there later. But at night, this thing looks really cool. You can do, um, you know, if you want to do something a little more gory, you could do this uh, in a little, one of those little cheap barbecue grooves with um, like some hands and some body parts on top or you could even do a big bed of coals and have like a spit like with a, a skeleton that looks burnt like a corpse or something so it's a really neat effect to be able to uh, do this and look like some glowing uh, embers and so forth it just looks really nice uh, but I had a real fun project this right here very cheap um, this right here is like $15, $14.99. The foam is like $5 a can, then whatever your, you know, dollar or $2 for your spray paint. Uh, you know, you can have two or $3 in spray paint if you do the white and the gray. Some of you, this you may have you actually have on hand. Um, the sign, go to any real estate place. They'll have an old faded sign they'll give you. Uh, or if you want to go, I'm sure a Hobby Lobby or somebody like that actually would sell the. Um, sheets of uh, corrugated plastic the reason i like corrugated plastic instead of like a cardboard or something i wanted this to be weatherproof so if you had like cardboard underneath here which would serve the purpose if you're going to do inside uh, a haunted house or something like that or like here in my house it's on my fireplace it would be fine but i wanted an option where if it gets damp underneath the cardboard would obviously uh, start having problems but with this it's a uh, solid plastic it's no big deal uh, so it's very versatile in the way you do it because these most Christmas lights by nature are indoor outdoor you could easily put this outside so that's another reason I did it uh, to give me a little versatility with that uh, being able to uh, put it outside without worrying about any moisture issues there's other tricks you can do I'm gonna put in a uh, uh, some type of fogger system uh, the ones I recommend uh, for that probably instead of dedicating an actual ex very expensive fogger system they make these um, they're called, uh, I don't know, the misters or mystifiers or something like that. They're used in the aquarium industry. Uh, you'll also see them around, um, usually where I see them is in like flea markets where they have like a, um, um, it's like a bowl and it's got the foggy water coming out of it. Well, this is a little disc about this big round. You can find them on eBay anywhere from six, eight, ten dollars up to a couple hundred dollars, depends on how many, uh, 
things are involved as far as the misters and stuff. But it basically it uses water, so you don't have to buy the solution or anything like that. And you could actually put a um, a light inside of here, uh, just a real dim type of light to uh, so it would glow and look eerie. And then you could do that. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of ways you can trick this out and make it look cool. But I thought I'd share my method with you on this and kind of give you some helpful hints on the thing here uh, with making it look a little more realistic, I think, than some of them I've seen uh, by using the technique of picking at the uh, foam to give it more of a rough textured look instead of that smooth, round uh, lava look. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you have a great Halloween. want to share this with you and uh, go out and make some projects. They make uh, good uh, family projects. If you got any kids, they really like it. My son really likes doing these projects and we always do a few a year. But anyway, I wanted to share this with you. If you have any questions, post those below. And as always, have a great Halloween and talk to you next year.